Okay, so this is the last part of this video and uh, those are the true lines that are required for including this piece of cloth, uh, this armor. So here I'm including a new slot, uh, number 8, and uh, it's the male armor, 01, and uh, this slot is re uh, receiving this this new overlay uh, it, it's sharing the same name but this one is the slot itself and this is the overlay uh, and uh, in this case uh, you can see that the random values for the color are quite different from the the usual ones uh, that's because as this is a very shiny um, element uh, it requires uh, lower uh, values here. Other side, it uh, it's overexposed. Uh, I mean, the it's too too bright. So uh, in this situation here, it looks uh, closer to to what I expected. So I'm getting back here to the to the project, and I'm just going to run and take a look how it's working. Okay. Okay. Uh, so uh, let me select one of those and try the shape variation. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. So you can see here how the you can change the 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 ch shape and uh, keep the the overall aspect of this armor and how it is combined with the, the cloth. Uh, so this is really nice. And uh, you can see how you can uh, have different materials uh, for cloth, uh, skin and, uh, and this, this armor element simply by changing the, the values for the, the specular and glass. And of course, uh, working on, with the colors themselves. So let me select one of those and show the atlas. As you can see, it's entirely one draw call. And we have this uh, interesting uh, result here. <laughs> As you can see, the the armor itself is extremely small. That's why the, it's so low resolution here, as this is a huge uh, atlas. Uh, so let me s just select the normal map, so you can see it's the same. You can see here, it's really small compared to all the rest, so I would probably keep uh, something closer to uh, 500 maybe or 200 uh, and something for the resolution uh, but you can see here how, how it works really well uh, and this open um, a lot of possibilities for combining uh, contents and uh, having really amazing uh, results so, uh, with this video, I hope you get an overall view of how to create this, this kind of content, both overlays and meshes. And uh, I hope you have amazing uh, ideas for uh, creating your own content and having bring this to a, a whole new level. So, uh, that's it for now. Uh, I I've, I've have a lot of fun recording those video tutorials and uh, I really hope those will bring uh, new, new content for the community. So, goodbye, see you!